Hi everybody, welcome to this next video by Hexorcist. Today we are going to talk about Ida Python. We are going to write a simple function execution tracker. So we are going to see how to write a simple Python script to track executed functions. With this script, you can easily see which functions are executed and which were not. This is for learning purposes. And uh, before we start, please smash the like button and subscribe. 80% of the views are not from subscribers. And this is the reason why I didn't publish anything for a while, because first of all, I don't have so many views and maybe there is no interest in my videos. So the more subscribers, the more views, the more videos I will produce. So let's get started. So for this exercise, what I did is I opened Notepad inside of Ida and I'm going to write the script. So exorcist simple function execution tracker. May I remind you that you can find all my training here on reverseengineer.net slash exorcism. So let's get started. So first of all, we are going to import IDA API and we are going to define different functions. The first thing is we want to find all the functions. So I'm going to define it breakpoint function, for example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to list all the functions. So for function in IDA utils dot functions. So first of all, I'm going to test it x function, and this should print the address of all the functions. Of course, I should execute it first, like this. So everything is working as expected. So the first thing we want to do is to set breakpoint on those functions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have one function which is responsible for adding breakpoints. So I'm going to call it, for example, BP for breakpoint, which will take two parameters. First of all, the address of the breakpoint and the condition, because we are going to assign a condition, which is another function, which is going to be responsible for coloring and everything. So. Ida API dot at underscore breakpoint. So this function is responsible for setting a breakpoint. First parameters is the address of the breakpoint, the size, and the type. So I'm going to use simple default breakpoint. And I'm going to do Ida API breakpoint underscore T. So make an instance of this and I'm going to get the breakpoint address and breakpoint. And now I'm going to set the actual language breakpoint dot elang equal python like this and now finally we are going to set the condition so breakpoint dot condition equal condition and then we are going to update the breakpoint. So either API dot update breakpoint and breakpoint, just like this. So now we have a function which is responsible for setting breakpoints. Takes two parameter, the address and the condition. 
right here we can do bp which is a new function that we just created address is the function and the actual log function we are going to so not even the log with scholar function so we are going to call it for example color func and you need to pass a string and that color func needs the actual function as parameters so i'm going to do like this plus close the parentheses just like this so what this is going to do is for each of the functions we are going to set a function with this color func so i'm going to create a color func so def color func it takes function has parameter We are going to use idc.setColor function, so the function we want to color the item. So we want to color the full function, which is cic func, and the actual color. So this is some green-ish color. I think it's 5fdfc6, I think. And um, also, we are going to delete the breakpoint because we want the breakpoint to be hit only one time, not to slow down the application. So this is simple, breakpoint del function. So we have the coloring function. We have the breakpoint function. And I think that's about it. Just need to create the breakpoint del function because this is my wrapper. So, take an address, and basically you have to use either API, del BPT, you take only one parameter, an address, and that's it. So, to summarize, we call this, which is going to loop through all the functions, going to set a breakpoint, and the condition or the handler is going to be this color func, which is right here. This is going to set the color of the funk because of this item and to delete the breakpoint. And that's all. So let's see. Press run. As you can see, we have breakpoint on every functions. If you go to debugger and go breakpoint, breakpoint list, you can see we have condition color funk with a parenthesis and the address. The address is in decimal, but it doesn't matter. I will accept it just fine. So now I'm going to go to debugger, switch debugger on local. So everything is fine. I'm going to run it. So we have an issue. Not sure why. We close it, run it again. No, it worked. I'm not sure what happens, but anyway, so now I can close it and we can see that everything in this color has been executed. If you want, you can execute different things, close it, and you can see that these are the functions which have been executed. So that's about it. But if you want to have something, for example, you want to have a cleaning function, so I'm going to call it def clean. What I'm going to do is for function in IDA utils.functions, I'm going to IDC set color function, so on the function, CIC func, so item function, and the color 
minus one, which set the default color. And also I'm going to use breakpoint del function. So this is going to delete everything. So if I go back to the I made a mistake, 28, where is it? Oh, I forgot to close this. So now if I do just clean, obviously, now everything is deleted and you can just put breakpoint, execute, and everything is working as expected. So that's it. As you can see, we can make a very simple function tracker in no time. So please note that there is no color right here because this is not functions. So there you go. I hope you liked it and please subscribe if you like the videos. If you want to see more videos, subscribe, press the like button and comment. So I will see you in the next one.